Um, so go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Valerie Elder. I'm the Forestry Natural Resources Extension Agent for Clatsop, Tillamook, and Lincoln Counties with Oregon State University, so Oregon's North Coast. Primarily, I work with small forest landowners, helping them to achieve their management objectives, whether that's increasing wildlife habitat or productivity of their forest land. I also work a lot with state forestry and large industrial private forest landowners. They cover the majority of the acreage in my counties. Um, and so I work with them collaboratively on uh, community leaders tours to help educate the general public on forestry and natural resources practices. And how long have you been with the extension for? Um, almost two years. Okay. Just started. Okay, um, yeah, it'll be two years in June. So what has been your, um, have you had any um, particular pieces of advice that were given to you maybe within the first six months and how has that played out so far? Or like what has stuck with you in terms of advice that keeps resonating? I think when I sort of was first starting and asking for advice about um, even just the interview process for the position, an agent in another state and another subject area, you know, mentioned sort of the important things or to really think about what landowners are going to be interested in and want from a program. A lot of times that's kind of how are they going to make money off of their property or something like that. And um, My upbringing is also in a rural county where I had access to extension starting in 4-H um, kind of throughout the ways. Um, and so for me it's really thinking about what those stakeholders' wants and needs are and that care and tending of them has really stuck with me and making sure that what I'm offering meets their needs. So you are only two years in, so you, this will be fresher in your mind, but I kind of ask people, what was your day-to-day -day like in the first six months? Like, What were you trying to do? Because I know that's the hard thing. If you come to the office, you're like, well, yeah. what do I do? You know, I started out in a county that hadn't had an extension agent in probably six years or so. Um, and then the former agent just had sort of a different way of managing things. So I kind of had, I felt like it was ground zero a little bit. I didn't have contact lists. I had sort of rudimentary kind of contacts in the counties. Um, and so I was trying to sort of use the internet, Facebook, call who I could to sort of figure out what is already happening, what are, what are different groups doing. I cover a three county area and the way that Oregon Department of Forestry, for example, who has stewardship uh, foresters who help provide some landowner assistance and also soil and water conservation districts, natural resource conservation, all those groups, private groups, all these people are providing these services. In each county it was totally different. So I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what other people are doing and what is the place of extension, meeting with people, um, kind of overcoming a lot of sort of misconceptions that they might have had about extension. So trying to build contact lists, meeting with as many people as possible, digging through boxes of files from the 70s. <laughs> um, but really getting to know the county and the concerns of people. And I was really fortunate to have that um, opportunity to do that and really start building programs that had impact. There's a few programs that were sort of existing that I was able to sort of jump up on um, and try to find ways to make those programs better. Um, how are you finding, I mean you're, you're still pretty new and um, so it's can be kind of demanding and overwhelming, but um, how are you trying to balance like home life and work life? Or are you yet? But <laughs> yeah, I admit that my husband's not thrilled with my career choice at the moment. I'm traveling too much and things like that. Uh, but it's um, things that I'm doing to sort of help combat that. I think two years in, the first year was about figuring out kind of what are opportunities. The second year is sort of trying those things out. And I'm treating this third year as really being strict and learning what it's like, feels like to sort of overcommit and really build in time better. That's something I thought I had a grasp on and it can get away from you. It's so easy to say yes. Um, and so to take a look at what my peers are doing, what they've been doing for 15 or 20 years, realize it takes me, admit, be humble, and admit it takes me much longer to do some of these things. In my region, it takes me much longer to drive places and really building in that driving time and being cognizant of travel and how long it takes. 
Um, that way I'm giving every project the attention that it deserves. I, I schedule in time to go to the gym and I got a dog so I take it for walks in the morning and the evening, just building in little things that make me happy um, so I can prioritize some things other than work. Dogs are the best workouts of hands. They are. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Hmm. I think that, ooh, let's see. I think uh, other good piece of advice that I got from another um, agent was to um, kind of be in a room and act and tell people how they're going to sort of treat you. Um, I started out as a girl from California with a Subaru, young, you know, and in my community they're expecting an old white guy in a pickup truck. And so that was pretty challenging and daily that's still a challenge. Um, but just building confidence I think is a good advice um, and figuring out what my strengths are in those communities and that Maybe my strengths are not wood products like the last person was, but I have these other strengths and helping, kindly helping lead people to those conclusions, but um, asking for respect and then hopefully getting that. Um, and then one last question. Um, what are your different types of audiences? Like how many acres do they own? What's their goal? I mean, I know there's lots of audiences, but what do you think some of your different audiences might be? Hmm. On the coast, we have a lot of forest landowners that own property in other parts of the state or other states. And the coast is kind of a retreat for them. So they might own um, 20 to 200 acres and they're actually managing that forest land. They come in for visits and so I can try to plan programs around when they're gonna be in the county. I'm increasingly getting a lot of calls from people who have five acres or less. So kind of working on developing a program that's better for that audience and figuring out um, kind of how to meet their needs in some of these coastal communities. Um, a big one that a lot of my kind of other stakeholders ask for help with is the general public. Lots of people moving from Portland to the coast um, and buying property and um, really appreciating the aesthetics of the landscape and are interested in sort of the beauty, which is a very different audience than maybe many of our extension programs historically have addressed. Um, so, um, but it varies, it varies from county to county. Up in um, Astoria, I might have a lot of landowners who are very independent and really do not want any assistance unless they're having a major problem. Um, in Tillamook County, I might have dairy farmers and their um, milking in the morning the evening so if I want to offer a program for them because they have a back parcel of forest land it has to be in the middle of the day which is pretty contradictory to some of the different programs that we might offer. Great. Well, that's it.